Ever wondered how to become a famous artist? No? Okay then, never mind. This video might be the most important one that I make because it covers the biggest misconception in the art world. There's one mistake that could end an artist's career before they even got a chance. Now, after watching this video, you will not magically somehow become a famous artist in a matter of days. Obviously not, but you will increase your chances drastically. And so let's dive in right away. The biggest mistake artists are making is that they think that they need to grow organically, that they should not put any money in advertisement and that advertisement is a form of cheating. Now this is the myth of the starving artists. Artists believe that their websites need to rank organically on Google. They believe that they need to grow their Instagram accounts organically without choosing any tricks. And they believe that their engagement needs to be at an all time high so that everybody thinks they got there organically. When in reality, the best artists in the world are investing millions of dollars a year to market their art. If you look at Marina Abramovic, Damien Hirst, Eminem, they all put millions in making documentaries about themselves to market themselves. Now, ironically, in those documentaries, they are portraying themselves as the starving artist who lives in a trailer with their mom and doesn't have enough money to advertise their art. And so what is going on there? Why are these wealthy artists putting in millions of dollars to portray themselves as starving artists who don't have enough money to advertise? Now, first of all, there's nothing wrong with this. This is a core business principle. You have to put money in advertisement so that you can put your products in front of people so that they can decide whether or not they like it in the first place. Every company does this. There's no other way. Tesla is not just making cars randomly and hoping for the best. Nike is not just writing just do it on a post-it note and then hanging it on their fridge. No, Coca-Cola is not just randomly delivering Coca-Cola to shops. No, they do it on Christmas with Santa Claus while happy music is playing in the background on every fucking single television set in the world. This is advertisement and this is necessary. The same goes for artists, but in the art world it's a little bit trickier because we have this notion of the starving artist, the vagabond, the rebel, the round peg in the square hole. The one that, that gets born as an artist, that is a natural. But when we hear these, these things, we have to ask ourselves the question, do these starving artists who somehow magically become famous actually exist? Or are these just stories that we tell? Is there some strange marketing benefit to market yourself as a starving artist that we don't know of yet. So let's take a look because there's definitely a right variety of starving artists out there, of self-made artists, of, of born geniuses, naturals, as we like to call them. I'm thinking about Manet, Michelangelo, Cezanne, or even Da Vinci. These have all some kind of starving, self-made, natural genius type of brand. But the truth is that all the arts that I just mentioned were born under extremely wealthy circumstances. We are talking about banker families that have servants or even royal blood with connections that we cannot even imagine. And so the truth is that there's actually nothing self-made about Da Vinci. Now don't get me wrong, these are in fact geniuses and I definitely look up to them. They deserve their fame. But the point is that they are not starving self-made naturals. As a matter of fact, there are studies that show that if you are born in a family that makes over 1 million a year, you are 10 times more likely to become an artist than if you are born in a family that makes 100k a year. Now, if you are born in a family 100k a year, then you are again 10 times more likely to become an artist than if you were born in a normal, regular household. And so, these statistics speak for themselves. Now, does this mean that you have to be born wealthy in order to become an artist? Of course not. There are plenty of examples of artists who were not born rich and who became famous artists. But there are no examples of artists who became famous and did not use the money they were making to advertise their art. Let's take a look at a YouTube star that definitely fits this picture of a self-made slightly starving natural born youtube star something like that mr beast now mr beast is one of the biggest youtubers in the world giving away million dollar cash prices and entire islands and just a couple of years ago mr beast was still jimmy donaldson a school kid making videos from his room very raw very natural 
and every interview that Mr. Beast gives, he will happily refer to him being just a school kid who just happened to upload some videos online and it just happened to got some traction and everything happened from there automatically. Now, the truth of course is that he is a billionaire that is putting in millions of dollars in marketing every single year, sometimes even a million dollars in just one video. And, and of course he does that by, for example, giving away a million dollar cash prize or an entire island. And at the surface, this doesn't look like advertisement, but of course it is. If you look closer, it's just advertisement. He would not be giving away these cash prizes if that would not be a publicity stunt. Again, this is a very good thing. You should do this. Every artist should do this. And every famous artist does this. I've never heard an artist say, I have a million dollars in the bank, but I'm not going to use it because I want to keep it real. I want to be natural. I want to, I want to be organic, you know? Like nobody is saying that because nobody is doing that. And nobody is doing that because it is impossible to do that. It is impossible to become a famous artist without advertising your art. No artist ever made some paintings and then somehow magically a gallery picked it up and several months later the artist was famous that just doesn't happen making money and then not using it on advertisements is like playing call of duty but not using any guns just using your fists because you want to do it organically you know like it, it sounds silly if you say it like that because it is silly if you say it like that in order to become a famous artist you need to advertise your art there's nothing wrong with advertising your art Famous artists are 80% marketing and 20% art. That's the big secret. Your job as an artist marketing your art is to do as many artificial things as possible to bring awareness towards your art. And sometimes that can feel natural. Sometimes that can feel organic. Like when Banksy did the whole stunt where he destroyed his artwork in a live auction, a million dollar artwork, or Elon Musk who accidentally breaks the window of the car during a presentation. You know, these, these things appear to be organic because smart marketers understand that the brand organic sells way better than the brand as marketed. People want to consume organic. They want to eat organic eggs and not manipulated eggs or advertised acts. You know, they don't put manipulated on the box, they put organic on the box. People want to buy organic. Organic meats, organic vegetables, organic everything. And when they're shopping, they want to do it in an organic bag, driving an organic car. And that is true in the art world as well. People want to buy, but nobody wants to be sold. People like art, but nobody wants to be manipulated in consuming art. People don't want to realize that it wasn't their choice. That their music style, their art preferences, their taste was not decided by themselves, but, but decided by somebody else. That it was decided by money. They don't want to realize that. And because of that, they want to consume organic. Organic art, naturally grown art. And because of that, they think that marketing is cheating. But let me make you one promise. Every single artist that you love has cheated their way into your brain. My name is Tris Kedels, I'm an artist myself, and I will pay for advertisement once I have enough money. And remember, art is the only necessity.